is going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel today we're talking about Gran Turismo 7 once again of course we are right we're four days away from this game coming out this is supposed to be one of the biggest most anticipated PlayStation games in a long time me myself uh, I'm excited for it I think it's gonna be a great title lots of cars hopefully some new tracks to keep us busy and as from what we've seen we got a lot of new things we got customization we got new parts we got liveries we got wide bodies and you know some of these things are great but you know not everybody is completely happy I'm still seeing comments saying that you know it's just kind of the same as Gran Turismo Sport or GT6 in terms of the track list and stuff like that so I'm really hoping that they've shoved a lot into this game to really make it one step above the next now some of these people that have pre-ordered the game like myself um, you know we're waiting till March the 4th however if you've pre-ordered on Amazon uh, there's been reports saying that you're getting your game early in the States at least not in Canada um, but I guess Amazon has started leaking copies and people are receiving their game about a week early these actually came out about two days ago and i just seen these from a couple comments on yesterday's episode so huge thank you to everybody that was bringing this to my attention but we had people holding up the physical version of gran turismo 7 in their house saying they're about to play the game uh absolutely wild now you know obviously this is a big problem uh we have never really seen something like this in a very long time i mean especially for the physical version I don't know if it was somebody, you know, doing this on purpose. That's really my only thought. I mean, how do you release a game almost a week before it comes out, man? Somebody is getting fired at that Amazon Depot. They have to be. They must have hit the wrong button on the wrong day. Maybe they were tired. Maybe watching a Gran Turismo 7 video and they're like, right, they clicked the wrong button and it just shipped them all out. Guy just felt terrible, didn't say anything. Two days later, people are holding up their physical versions on Twitter. Now, I don't know if they were getting their steelbooks, but it looked like they were just getting the base versions of the game. Now, of these people that actually got the game, I seen comments yesterday talking about how people actually were streaming or they put up footage on YouTube of a good, like, three, four hours of the game, just kind of playing it, stuff like that. Obviously, that's an instant copyright strike i'm assuming uh you know gran turismo 7 they are restricting really any footage that's going up and uh, i do believe his stream or his video was taken down within the hour that it came out now if you guys know anything from that video let me know in the comment section down below any leaks any tips any right anything that you guys have seen let me know down below i'm curious on you know anything new any tracks you know maybe we have a track list that's maybe popped out i don't know uh, but gran turismo 7 though actually had a couple defense systems at play now thankfully um this game does require an internet connection right who knew we're playing online we need it but the internet connection though is also tied in to the single player of the game, the campaign mode. So you actually cannot do anything with the campaign mode until March the 4th. So the people that actually got the game early, they can't really do too much. However, there was a Reddit user um, that said, did the music rally stuff while it was downloading. So three cars on three tracks, just finished the opening cinematics and about to start the game. Now, I don't know if it was this same guy, but somebody ended up streaming or recording the opening cinematics. Thankfully, I didn't watch it. I don't want to have that spoiled for me, but later added um, on this clip, it says, I was able to go to the car dealer and get a car, go to the garage, and that's about it, he says. So it's nice to know that the online system, you know, has some type of defense for Gran Turismo. I'm sure they're not too happy that their game has been leaked uh, almost a week before it comes out. Like, that's wild, all right? I mean, I know everyone's got their keys and their codes, but nobody's posting screenshots or anything like that. So you know there's gonna be a bad apple out of the bunch. Somebody's gonna end up posting some footage. It's gonna get leaked through Discords. People are gonna talk about it. So, you know, look for some some stuff to come out these next few days. Maybe cars that can be wide-bodied, stuff like that. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go. I think it's just gonna be a landslide of information these next few days. Obviously, it's been almost three days. We haven't had any, you know, real huge news coming out about the leak other than just people receiving their games early so i think people are pretty quiet if they've got it or also too you know they don't want to get banned they don't want to have any issues and i feel like uh they're gonna be very strict on you know seeing anything or seeing anybody talking about it and they're gonna take it down pretty much instantly so we haven't really heard very much other than just 
they got their copy. So, you know, that's great that people have it. They can download it, set it up, which I've always said should be a thing, right? We should have access to download the game before the day of the people that are actually buying the physical version. I just, right, I have to go to the store at 10 a.m. to pick it up and then come home to hit the download button. And that's going to take however many hours. I don't know, right, hopefully not too many, but, you know, back five years ago, that would be a good four, five, six hours, right? I think maybe GT7, I'm praying it's going to be underneath 100 gigs. If it's not underneath 100 gigs, it's going to be a little bit of time. But, right, um, you know, 200 download should go within, you know, a few hours or so. But, um, you know, it definitely sucks that they don't have something set up to allow us to pre-download the game. And then when the day comes, if we insert the disc, then we get access to the game, right? That would be cool. That would kind of, you know make it all worthwhile going to the store to get the physical version but i feel like we're being penalized for getting the physical version of the game they just want us to have it on the system right so it's a little bit frustrating that uh we gotta wait as long as we do but it is cool though for people that have got the game you can now pre-order it you can now download it i tried to pre-order right away on amazon i was actually going to call up gamestop and say i want to cancel my pre-order and get it off amazon however um, I couldn't get the steelbook on Amazon anymore. It just was not available. So that was a little bit upsetting. I wanted to hopefully get my copy in the next couple of days, right? That would have been cool. If you guys have got your copies of GT7 early, let me know in the comment section down below. Really curious to see how many people have actually got it, man. That is a huge mistake. Now, GT Planet did an article about this, and they said this is not actually the first time that this has happened. It said uh, on the Gran Turismo 6 release, it also appeared a week ahead of launch on some of the stores in the Middle East. So that is pretty crazy, but it did say that this is unprecedented for a major international retailer to send copies of a GT game out this far ahead of launch in a major market. That is ex right, unacceptable almost. This is wild that that has happened. There's going to be some major fines. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, Bezos has got it. He's got the check no matter what the cost is, but uh, you know, it definitely is a weird thing to see a game company, um, you know, having their game released a week ahead of time. And, you know, Amazon, um, you know, just, oops, sorry about that one, right? I mean, if I did that when I was working at the source and handed out a game early before its release, I would be fired, I would be fined, and, you know, I could have, you know, maybe legal actions against me for releasing the game early. It was a serious thing. It was, it was crazy. And obviously, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this before. If we have, let me know in the comment section. But I think this is Amazon's first big title screw up on a console. I mean, if I'm wrong, help me out in the comments down below. But uh, Gran Turismo 7, four days remaining, man. Absolutely wild. I'm hoping that we see some new gameplay footage. I am chomping at the bit to see anything new GT7 this final week before its launch date hopefully we do um if we do you know maybe we see some new tracks that would be cool to kind of get us hyped up see some new things maybe some new customization i don't think they're going to they're going to just ride this you know this hype out we got people that have the game early now we're supposedly leaked from amazon or was this just a giant marketing tactic to, uh, you know, get eyes on Gran Turismo 7? It's possible, right? It got me talking about it for today. So, um, you know, that is definitely a possibility. I'd love to know down below your thoughts on this whole situation. It's a mess. I mean, we've had big things like this before with Forza Horizon, uh, I think it was 3, when they first had their online coding released online so people can mod the game. I'm sure the game devs were not happy to see their game leak like that. And I think this goes exactly the same as GT seven you know the fact that you know the game is now out for people and they've worked this hard to see it go out early i mean i don't know is this a fail or is this a win on gran turismo's part maybe they're going to get people talking and maybe generate more sales i don't know what i do know though it's coming out this week make sure you guys go ahead pre-order it if you have not already if the steelbook is still available highly recommend grabbing it you're gonna get the playstation 5 version and the playstation 4 version if you have your playstation 4 version still i think we can play it from different rooms i'm gonna be going upstairs doing a race coming back downstairs doing a race i think that's how it's gonna go i don't know but what i will say though is i do have a brand new 2022 steering wheel for Gran Turismo 7. I will be releasing that on the channel hopefully tomorrow. So make sure you guys do stay subscribed here on the channel. Also to Forza Horizon 5, the AE86 is officially available. I'm gonna spin the big wheel as well too this week and try for it one more time. If not, 
I can purchase it through the uh, the shop actually this week. So that's a huge thing for me. Finally gonna get my hands on that thing. Let me know if you guys have picked it up down below as well too. But uh, just hats off to Gran Turismo with their defense systems on high, making sure that nobody can really touch the game until the release date. They did say that's to combat, uh, you know, all the cheaters and modifying game saves for money and stuff like that. So it seems like they're still cracking down on people trying to modify the game, which is an awesome thing to see. We're gonna see the money system just kind of flowing regularly this time around. And hopefully there's no money glitches this year. I feel like there's always something. So we'll see what happens. Huge thank you for watching for today. Let me know your thoughts down below. GT7. We are so close to the release date, man. How hyped are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Let me know down below. Huge thank you. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.